Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can directly change many payroll item fields within the Employee Defaults window. To open the Employee Defaults window, select Maintain, Default Information, Employees from the menu bar after finishing the Payroll Setup Wizard in Sage 50. To set the default General Employee settings, click the General tab. To create default custom fields for employee records, type the field names into the field labels fields, and then check the adjacent Enabled checkboxes. To set the default display of employee names, select an option button under the Display Employee Names With section. If the locality field is used in payroll, you can enter the name of the locality into the locality field. To view and edit payroll fields that affect employee pay, like deductions, additions, and exceptions, click the Employee Fields tab. After these fields have been created in the Employee Defaults window, they are then available for use by all employees. You can then customize these individual fields for each employee's record later on as needed. These fields were created from your responses in the Payroll Setup Wizard, and you can also return to the Payroll Settings window by selecting Maintain, Payroll, Payroll Settings to change or add employee deductions and contributions, which affects the fields shown here. To view and edit payroll fields used to track the employer's payroll information, like company paid payroll taxes, click the Company Fields tab. These fields are created by your responses in the Payroll Setup Wizard 2. Like the employee fields, making changes to your previous responses in the Payroll Settings window can affect the field shown here. After initially setting up payroll, an alternative way to also access the Payroll Settings window is by selecting Maintain, Default Information, then Payroll Settings from the menu bar. To create the default employee ratings, click the Review Ratings tab, then enter up to 10 ratings for employee performance into the Ratings column on this tab. To create the default employment statuses, click the Employment Status tab. Some statuses are provided by default and you can keep them, edit them, and add more if needed. Enter the desired statuses into the Status column. To save changes to the Employee Defaults, click the OK button in the Employee Defaults window. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.